Generators. Every turbine has its own generator. The conceptual principal difference between HAWT and VAWT is that in VAWT, the generator is down there on ground level. It's on the bottom of the tower. It makes installation, operation, maintenance much easier. It's down there. Look at the picture on the left. The H1, the horizontal one, the picture on the rightmost left, is up there. And up there means sometimes 100, 100 meters high. A weight of a generator can be 2 tons, 3 tons, 5 tons, 10 tons. That means a large number of cranes and helicopters should participate in the installation process in order to assemble a generator. And if we need to maintain it, it's much more difficult when it's 100 meters high than com compared to when it is down on the ground. The tower is lighter for a VAWT because there is no nickel. There is a nickel up there for the H, no nickel at the bottom. This reduces structural loads and problems with erecting a tower by itself. A tower is lighter for the Vs. So, taking the weight and the size out of the equation from the VAWTs enable us to concentrate on efficiency and minimizing maintenance. The size of the generator is not a parameter anymore. Also, the control system of the Vs is down there. The picture on the center demonstrates to us what's happening in the base of the Darius turbine. There is a generator in a cage down on the ground. Picture on the right is Savonius. We cover it, it's like a room. There's a generator there, the control room is there. And it's easy to be maintained. Now, when we talk about large farms, especially offshore market, offshore market, it becomes more important to have machine that needs a little maintenance as possible. It's very high cost to maintain something which is 50 miles offshore. By its nature, it gives advantage to the, v to the vertical ones. They have simpler structures, everything is down there in the ground. It has no yo system because it can catch wind coming from all directions. And there's no pitch system. We don't need to rotate the, 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 uh, the blades themselves to change the, the angle of attack. So having said that, that means less mechanical structure, less mechanical components, much easier, much um, less expensive to maintain. The regular turbine maintenance consists of 10 to 15% of entire cost of running the turbine. The maintenance cost is about 15% of the entire cost of the uh, what you call LCC, life cycle cost of the entire of the turbine for its own life. Now, let's talk about some weak point in the HAWT. The weakest point is at the top where the blades meet the core of the turbine, the root of the turbine. That's the neckle. That's where the blades connect to get to connect it together on the shaft. Because it's a weak point, and if we have uh, in HWT, we have three blades, there are three weak points. The blades themselves at that particular area, the root area should be very, very strong, meaning very heavy, very robust. And in this picture, the Darius ones, in low altitude installations, and we see them placing on the, on the ground, that means there are high level of turbulences because of obstacles in the area. 
that causes wear and tear. So the wear and tear of the H is less than the wear and tear of the V, affecting maintenance cost. This is just a technique to automatically wash blades. We need to keep in mind the blades should be very clean and smooth to allow the wind, to allow the air slip on and go and pass through. If the turban itself will have dirt on it from birds that were killed by hitting the blade as it rotated, we need to make sure that they will be smooth and nice, clean, so we need to wash them. This, this technique is a very typical technique of washing HAWT blades as they rotate. There's a mechanism of brush going up and down the tower, and as the brush spins it, and it moves up and down, the turban, the blades rotate, so we clean the entire back side of the, of the turbine. VAWTs designed in such a way that there's a large open space between the blades and the base. The picture on the right and also the picture on the left means that there's a lot of air between the blade and the, and the central tower and the blades themselves has very low contact level toward the wind. But it creates a centrifugal force because as the VAWT rotates, especially the Darius ones, because of centrifugal force, it likes to go out. When the force being pushed away from the center, it creates mechanical stress on both ends. So these two points holding the blades have a lot of mechanical stress. Taking these stresses on these two points, together with the natural vibrations, makes a wear and tear in terms of maintenance cost and maintenance function for the VAT, VAWT, much worse than the HAWT.